welcome to my vlog. Well, today is Saturday, February, I think it's February the 5th. I believe it's the 5th. Yeah, I think it's February the 5th. I thought I'd come up here because I wanted to make sure that you just saw me, um, the intro with me at the outdoor flea market where I left you off. I was going to the thrift store, right? So I went to the outdoor flea market first. So let me show you because I, of course, am not ready yet to keep to be talking out because I, I don't know how to hold my facial expressions yet. I don't know how to like ignore people that stern like they ain't never seen nobody talk on the camera before. I, it will take me time, guys. So don't forget, this is only my third vlog, okay? It's gonna take me time to where I'm just talking to you and don't care what nobody around me say. I, I was giving dirty looks, especially at the thrift store. What are you looking at? Why are you staring at me? Look at that shirt in front of you. Really? So anyway, so the outdoor flea market uh, let me bring it up again right here. I wanted to show you the African art that um, uh, this booth had. They had handmade African art, African uh, jewelry, and I got these. Look at this. Aren't they nice? Oh, my goodness. I'm going back, and I want these. Uh, see what else they had. It was cold out there that day and i was when i found them because it's an outdoor flea market with everything from live chickens to um people selling um shrimp and fish they just went to the uh went out and got like i guess they caught it mm -hmm. but anyway everything there and so when i saw him it was at the end i was tired i was getting ready to go and there it is so i will be going out there again and i will show you more of the things at that outdoor flea market and now i'm going to show you what i got at the thrift store you see key to footage
phone died. So there you go. But I wanted to show you something. So here I am. Um, I got, uh, I showed you my, some of the things that I thought were cute. I didn't keep everything, but I did want to show you what I did keep. I've already sanitized it, washed it. So I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, okay. So first thing I got was this, uh, dress now it looks like it's versace inspired i love all the uh chains going around it you know that is the big thing now this type of versace print so um and it is huge it is a 2x i think ralph lauren pieces is they last forever it is actually good quality uh when i do my styling video look out for it now because you're going to be like how are you going to style that big old dress because it is big on me. But look at the, you see the, I don't know if you can really see it. It got the Ralph Lauren uh, buttons going up the top. So I am going to style this. You'll see, even though it's oversized, how I style it. I just wanted a cute sweatshirt in black. But of course, I just can't just do black, can I? Look at that. Look at those beautiful colors in that. I just love it. And it is also on one of the sleeves it got a big rose going down but i love the blue eye it is actually embellished i don't know if you can really see it this will look cute when you want to be casual but still look cute so i got this as well i didn't get many pieces i got enough clothes i didn't get many pieces but i like odd stuff and um i don't know if you into moo's but you will be seeing me wear this moo moo walking through the house when I'm doing my, um, when you see me doing some of my vlogs, you will see me in this moo moo. Look at the pretty pattern. And of course, this is one size fit also. It might be oversized, but that's what a moo moo is supposed to be. You're supposed to be comfortable walking in your house, but still stylish and cute. And then I got this right here, this scarf, which I'm going to turn into a headband. Look how pretty it is. Look at that beautiful... Uh, sparkly um, it is like a silver and gold I don't know if you can really see it but I'm aware there's a hand a headband so you'll see that sooner or later and then the top thing I got guys <laughs> the number one thing I got I got this skirt set it's a two-piece so let me step back see the skirt it is a two-piece, beautiful brown and tan and got a little gray in it as well. Gorgeous. Let me show you the top before I tell you. And this is the top. So here's the top that goes with it. You can put this on and put a belt over it, you know, so it'll look like it's cinched in. And I'm going to show you how I style that on my styling video, so don't forget follow make sure you still continue to follow me and ring the bell i do vlogs on sunday you will see those and on saturday you will see my styling videos so this is by simply vera wang more affordable line but still i got this for 12 dollars the whole set really it, you're not going to get simply vera wang for 12 dollars in a two-piece set that's beautiful and beautifully made so those were the things that I got from the actual uh, thrift store. So I wanted to make sure I pop in and tell you that. And also, guys, I got so much to like show you that um, unfortunately it's in the past, but I still want to share it on my vlog. It, um, my son took me to dinner, another dinner uh, for my birthday and it was so nice it was so nice i had such a wonderful time we went out to eat and part of it was him making sure that he took pictures of me and filmed me um at the restaurant for my channel so that was just so sweet of him because i film and do everything myself every outfit every filming um situation i film it myself if I don't have anybody there to help me, but 95% is me. So, um, key to footage. So, I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed that footage of me at the restaurant um, and showing you my dress that I wore that night. Um, so right now, I want to do an unboxing. So I want to show you this. So you know I like to show you an unboxing. So I'm going to take this downstairs. We're going to go because I'm also going to show you some of the food that I've eaten this week. It's not much. I, I, I will show you things when it's something different. Um, and what I ate at the restaurant was mashed potatoes, spinach. I ate side dishes just like I always do. And they gave me a birthday thing. And you see that right here. So you see me blowing out the candle. They did bring me out some birthday lemon cookies. <laughs> That was so sweet of them. Um, so come on, let's go downstairs and let me show you, unbox this and let me show you some of the food that I'm talking about. All right, so let me go ahead and unbox this for you. So I got me a package and I am gonna unbox it. So I'll be trying to save all my packages to share with you guys. That way you can actually see a true unboxing. So I got this from, of course, Saks Off Fifth. So let me. So here is the box. And here is the case. And these are the shades. So let me show them to you. They are Versace. So, I love this color. It is like a gold, pretty gold color that in the summertime, I know it's going to look so nice. So, let me see if you can see it. Let me take this hat off. So, what do y'all think? I love them. Then this is them from the side. They are so cute. And this is going to look so nice in the summer. So these are my new Versace shades. It has Versace on the side. I like thicker sides than thinner. Okay, so... Some of the new things that I got. First of all, let me talk about this brownie because I'm going to eat this brownie. I got this from Whole Foods. This, and um, they come in squares like this. You see the square? And they come in fours. Um, and it is made, that is right out of their bakery, and it's vegan. And it is so delicious. Get you some vegan stuff from Whole Foods. I also got vegan from Whole Foods is... I like, I don't know about anybody else, but I love Roman noodles. I actually do. You could put so much stuff in there. I mean, but it's so high in, in, in um, the salt intake. But if you don't put the packs on it and you just use the noodles and then make your own uh, with like a vegetable broth and then put you your own vegetables in there, it's delicious. But guess what I found, guys? I found some vegan Roman noodles from Whole Foods. It is vegan noodles. So I can't wait to taste this. I didn't want to try it until I showed it to you because I only got one because I want to see. I don't want to waste money and buy stuff that I'm not going to eat. So when I do eat it, I'll let you know how it is. I also got from Whole Foods, I got me some fresh mozzarella. Uh, I think it's called Bu Bucanchi? I don't know. I just call them mozzarella balls that be in the juice and they huge. Let me show you. And I just eat them like a snack. They're huge mozzarella balls. Look at them. Huge. Mm. Put it up and put it with some um Put it on some pizza that you make. You can slice it up and put it on. You ever had mozzarella balls with um, 
um, roasted tomatoes, which is the only way I can eat it. They end up like a jar and they roast it. I can eat them like that. But other than I can't eat tomatoes no other kind of way. It's weird. Another thing I love is crispy fried onions. I know you only see people eat this on string beans, but I put this on um, my tomato soup that I like. I put it on, um, you can put it on a lot of vegetables. So when you do your kale, your collards, anything, you can put these on and it gives it that taste without putting on baking the olive oil. So this is what I cook my eggs in because I like fried eggs. And if you and saute any vegetables, everything I cook with, I cook with this. This is my favorite, favorite oil. Next, the sugar that I like. This is the only sugar, Trivia, Honestly Sweet. It is, I mean, if you're going to do the healthy sugar, this is, look it up. This is the best one. So this is what I put on my coffee. On my coffee. How do I put it on my coffee? I can put it in my coffee, but I don't think I can put it on my coffee. It's the only reason I use sugar for my coffee. And my favorite, favorite, favorite tea is Lemon and Ginger by Twinnings. That is my favorite tea. It's almost gone. I think I'm down to like five. My favorite tea. So those are some of the things that I have been, I got from Whole Foods. And some of the things that if you're new and you're trying to figure out what are you talking about, um, I only eat sides. It's not a cooking channel. I don't cook like that, but I cook enough for me. Uh, I'm only cooking for me. So some of the dishes I will share with you, some of the things that I eat that I want want you to know that is a healthy choice. And that is what I be doing. So sometimes my side dishes may not be healthy. Okay. Um, even though I don't eat a lot of unhealthy food, every now and then i mean it is every now and then i love some macaroni and cheese but it has to be a uh, somebody homemade macaroni and cheese it cannot be i just go get a box cook it on the stove put some powdered cheese on it it's it so no so that's what i'm saying somebody making the best macaroni and cheese I ever ate was my daughter's. She home make it from, everything is from scratch. What's home make it? I said home make it. I should say from scratch. I can be at home making anything, don't make it um, from scratch. I'm telling y'all, since I got, I'm telling y'all, I'm older now. I know. When I was younger, my mama used to be saying stuff, you'd be like, what that lady talking about? Well, now my children do it to me. It is hilarious. Well, okay, so I already just showed you. This is the outfit. If you go watch my um, styling video, this is one of the outfits that I had on. So I thought I'd pop up here and say hello and show you the thrifting and you know stuff that I did. But I'm gonna I'm getting ready because I'm going to the movies to see Moon Raid, Moon Shake, Moon something. Something about the moon. Anyways, I could go ahead and wrap the vlog up, but also show you the aftermath of when you have to film something, especially try on hauls and stuff like that, or you just doing styling videos. And I thought I'd just go ahead and end it by having a good conversation while I get ready to put all this stuff away. So I want to talk about something that was such an interesting topic to me about when it comes to relationships. So, you know, by me being divorced and was in a long-term relationship, um, sometimes people ask you for advice or ask you, you know, what do you think? Or, you know, just because, just because a relationship fails doesn't mean that you were a failure, okay? It means that that foundation failed, that that is what failed. So it doesn't mean you as a person was any type of failure. I mean, 
sometimes um, it is quick to blame yourself and or to blame others when something fails because you feel somebody need to blame and sometimes it's just both parties um, but the one thing I don't do is I do not allow if you allow things that happen to keep you down then that means that that whatever did happen in that relationship it it needs to be addressed uh either you address it and you try to resolve it with the person that you felt hurt you or didn't give you the closing that you needed or go to someone um if uh, a best friend can't do it or if you don't know anyone that listens see that's the thing it is not the fact of going to see a therapist because they're professional and they went to school and um, they supposed to know how you feel. To me, a therapist is someone who actually, truly, they listen, not judge, not uh, tell you, okay, do this, do that, and then you will feel better. No. They try to help you, and that's just my thought. They try to help you cope and get it out. So if you have a parent or a best friend or a sister or somebody that can you can do that with, you don't need to pay a therapist. It's you getting it off your chest. It's closing it. It's like if somebody broke, if, some, if your husband came home and said, I want a divorce and it actually came from the left now it may come from the left but then you can see you still have those signs right so you ever look through the corner of your eye and you think you saw something well when you get a certain age you see that all the time so that's when I be thinking it's really spirits walking around but anyway I'm not gonna talk about that I'm gonna get back to what I'm talking about so you feel like blindsided and you're trying to figure out okay what and and this is for those ones that were really shockers and you want closure you want that person to tell you that you want them to sit down with you for hours and tell you what happened tell you get it out let you get out all the emotion the crying the from mad to sad to and if they can sit there and give you that closure then you feel like, okay, now I can deal with it and cope with it. But I'm leaving you. I'm gone. Shut the door. Hmm? And no, you can't call and talk to me. No, I deal with the emotion on your own. That is the hard part. Somebody harmed you and did something to you and you can't confront them like you want to. That is a hard thing to do. So those, it to me, that's what it means. If you could get it out and get the closure out, you would get over that person so much faster. But anyway, just speaking of stuff like that, as far as a relationship, and you wonder, is it a stereotypical thing in a relationship what a role a man plays and a role a woman plays? Is it a stereotypical, is it still like that? Like for instance, the topic that I was really talking about was the fact of if you will allow your your significant other to stay home while you work, does that mean that you are, the, by you being the breadwinner as far as bringing in more money? So it, is it coming down to just the money? So if I'm bringing in more money, then I'm the man and I'm, I'm the lead and I'm the this. Well, not all men lead. It is women that lead. It is women that uh keep the household going and it's men that could be the the artist the 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 cook the the one that brings the emotional support everything boils down to really truly if you don't listen to society and you go for what you really really need not what you think you want some people stay single because they're looking for that person that's in their head as the best person for them they've already painted that picture of that person 
And um, okay, so society says you, the man, should bring you should be the breadwinner. So I, you need to be the one to get out and make the money. Well, what if he get out and make the money, and the only man money he can make is uh, manual labor money? You know what I mean? I mean, he can only bring in what he 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 hasn't he doesn't have a career, but he's a good man. So what if he's good at that? Or he's a starving artist who right now he's doing his art passion, what he loves. And right now it may not be selling the way, you know, um, an artist's work should. But that's his passion. That's what he loved to do. You knew that from the beginning, but yet and see you went in a relationship with him. But then you complain because he's not bringing in as much money as you thought he would. Then why you go in that relationship? So it's like, do you want, is, is he who you wanted or is she who you wanted? Or did you want somebody who made more money than you, who you wouldn't have to worry about financial problems because there's always other problems. Just because you're financially stable don't mean there, there are not other problems that can come along, right? So, but is that what you're saying? That is what I want. And then you see those that get married because of money, because they, we, you know, we make sure we got that money. But then down the line, you find out that's not what you need. Then you mad because, uh, oh, he out there making that money or she out there making that money. But what about me? You're not home with me. You're not showing me that affection and that love that I need. But in the beginning, it was the money. So... What do you really want? Everything to me has a season. And I've said this over and over again. Everything has a season. Oh, I just love this bag, right? Everything has a season. So if everything has a season, do I look for someone in that season? And then later on, maybe I, I change and I grow and I find out that my needs is different than what it was in that season. So to me, that is why I say, why do you have to jump into a relationship? Why do you have to commit already? When I say commit, I mean, we got to get married. We got to uh, live together and, and start a family. And we got to do all that in this season. Early in a relationship. But then when I get in that relationship with you and we grow, wait, you're not, you're not who I wanted in this season. I just be wondering about that. That doesn't play in every relationship. Some people grow together and build a foundation that is magnificent. They grow, they make mistakes, they learn. They, as long as one is not trying to change the other, and let us naturally grow together, that is the best relationship ever. Not only are we growing financially, whether we are swimming in money or not, to us, our financial foundation is sound. Emotionally, we've grown where we're not jealous of every little thing each other do. I appreciate that you're beautiful and someone else sees that beauty. Or I appreciate that you are this way and other people see that. That is what I love about you. We've built that emotional foundation. And then we are friends, which means not only do we love any the the sexual, the 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 the, the connection we got we also like each other and we are best friends that is the type of relationship that not only is hard to get over if it ever ends for some unforeseen reason they could have did something that you could never forgive them for they could have died something in their past caught up with them any of those things but you have that type of relationship, that is the hardest one to get over. 
not your toxic ones where y'all just keep coming back to each other. That is not a foundation of nothing but you feed off of each other's negative energy. I would never base any relationship on sexual prowess. Like, but the sex is so good. But as soon as we don't have sex anymore, we don't like each other. It's nothing else. How, do you do that till you're 50? How long does that ha last before you burn out and you burn each other out? Or oh, Lord forbid, the toxic relationship becomes dangerous. So I was just sitting there wondering about that. And I said, let me, if I'm going to start sharing a part of my life, then my vlogs should also share things that maybe people don't care about. But I do. Thinking about relationships, past relationships, you get to a point in your life where you think about these things. And that is true. I am almost 60. And now the things I think about is the things I did in the past and how it's affected me now. And do I want to get married again? Do I want to try to build one of those foundations? And right now the answer is, the only foundation I want to build is my relationship with God and myself. Truly, that's the only foundation I am trying to build. Let me know your thoughts on any of the thoughts I just had that I was sharing with you. But I'm gone now, for real. Um, this is the end of the vlog. Please join me for the next one where I will let you meet my plants. Yup. They my pets. Bye guys.